Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In, in today's video, we are going to see one of the most commonly used real world scenario. In one of the previous examples, we saw how to compare previous year's data with current year's data. So that is year over year comparison. But in real world, business wants to know how they performed two years back and they want to compare it with this year or with previous year so so they want to compare data between years so in this video we are going to learn how to do that there are different ways to do it but the way i'm showing you today is going to use some dax functions so this way you'll learn dax functions as well and also this specific way that i'm showing you today this is the most common way of doing it and this is very useful so without any delay, let's get into my laptop and let's get started. Uh, if you look at my screen here, this is a very simple report uh, where I'm showing the total sales. Okay, so the total sales for all the years is this to 29 million. Okay, and I'm going to select 2006. It is 6.5 million. 2007 it's 9.8 million. 2008 is 9.8 million as well. So 2005 is 3.3 million. So now what do, now what do I need to do is I want to create one more slicer. I want to I want to create one more year slicer and compare the data between the years now. Let's see how to do that. So to so the first step is I'm going to mimic. I'm going to take a copy of this calendar table. And to do that, do that, I go to modeling tab. I say new table. And I'm going to give the name of the table as compare year. And this compare year would be the exact same copy of the existing calendar table. So I'll just say compare year equal to calendar and say okay and if you look here now you got this compare you got this compare year table created so both the calendar and compare year tables have will have the exact same data let's see that in the data tab so so click on the calendar table so you have this data and if you click on compare year table you have the same data exact same data as you see in the calendar table now the first step is done you created the compare calendar table okay so now from this compare from this compare year table um, because this year is being summed up let's make it don't summarize and save it because it's a year and you don't want to sum the years okay that part is done so now i'm going to select this year to get a new slicer okay i got it here i'm changing i'm bringing it to bottom and i'm making this a slicer and change this to list okay now we have Two slicers what you want to do is if you select 2000 you can select one year from the top slicer and another year from the bottom slicer and you want to see two bars here one that um, top slicers sales and the bot and you you see another bar here which shows the bottom slicer sales okay so now if you select the slicer you don't see any effect here this is because you don't have any relationships created to this new compare year table. So the second step would be create the relationships. To create relationships, you need to go to this tab here, this model tab. And if you see, so the date column in calendar table is related to order date in fact internet sales table. So that's the exact same thing you need to do for the new table as well new cal compare year table as well so you create relationship between order date 
and date okay now let's see what happens go back to the report see what happened here you don't see any data and just go select 2005 now you see the data if you select any other year you don't see data why is this so this is because the first year is selecting 2005 data and if you in the second year if you select some other data then power bi doesn't understand which year to pick because it's an and condition it is going to fail it's not going to show you any data so what you need to do for that is because you created this relationship here we are going to make this inactive okay we are going to make this inactive relationship you unselect this this uh, you unselect this checkbox here and say okay so now the relationship exists this relationship exists but it is inactive see you see the dotted lines here that means this is an inactive relation now you see save and go back to the report and see so yeah so this is what we want for now so it's showing the so this pair it represents top slicers data so even though we select some other um, other um, year in the bottom slicer this is not getting impacted so that's what we want so now to get another bar here another bar which shows the data for the bottom slicer we need to create a new measure okay and you name the measure as creating this new measure of fact internet sales and you name the measure as bottom bottom slices data okay now my T in my T on my keyboard is not working properly. Okay, so now we have bottom slicers data. The first thing you need to do is when you think of creating a new measure, you calculate certain things in the measure. So you obviously need calculate function. So you're using calculate. And what are you calculating? You are calculating total sales, right? We are calculating total sales and that to you are calculating total sales and that total sales is in fact internet sales measure fact internet sales total sales okay and after getting this first uh, first parameter the second thing you need to do is you need to remove the filters coming from the first slicer from the top slicer to remove all the filters from a slicer to remove all the filters you need to do you need to use all function here so this all function it removes all the filters so you want to remove filters from calendar data set so you you give calendar there so this part so this part is removing all the filters from calendar data set and now we have a inactive relationship between the new table new compare year table created and fact internet sales so you need to activate that relationship to activate that you use use relationship function so use relationship function is used to use the relationships which are not active okay so so which relationships do I need to use? We created the relationship between compare year date and fact internet sales order date, right? This order date. So we created relationship between these two. 
So I'm going to use the relationship we created. That's all. Nothing more. We say OK. And bring this measure. Bring OK. So here we are comparing the data between 2005 and 2006. 2005 data is this. 2006 data is this. Now I'm changing the bottom slicer to 2007. 2007 is 3.3 which did not change. This is 9.8 and 2008. 2008 is also 9.8 million. Close to 9.8 million. 2007 is it's it's close to 9.8 because it cannot put the bigger value there. It's it's just showing us that it's rounding it off to 9.8 million. Okay. 2006, 6.5 million, and if you select 2005 again, it's both the, both will be the exact same, 3.3 and 3.3. So this is how you compare data between different years, and you can use the same process for to compare anything else, not just the years data. You can here in this example, we have used, we have learned how to create, how to duplicate. Um, an existing table and we also um, learned how to create how to use the use relationship uh, tax function and we also learned how to use all function as well so these are the these are the main um, tax functions which you use very frequently so this way you got to learn this way you got to learn uh, all these tax functions as well if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.